are going to the best car wash in Oceanside. To spread some kindness. They do the best job. They're always so nice. So we're gonna hook them up with some kind humans gear and some pizza for lunch. pizza being delivered to them. So those were pizzas and hats being delivered to workers at an Oceanside car wash. And it was all done by kind humans. We wanna wish all of you a happy random acts of kindness day. It's great to have a uh, day rather to celebrate kindness, but something obviously we should practice every day. So to talk about that, we have a three time Super Bowl champion, founding member of kind humans, Lonnie Paxton joining us. Good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, I'm so happy to have you on. And you are a San Diego resident, which is awesome. I love that we have Super Bowl champions right here in our home. <laughs> That's right, we love it down here. Yes, and I do want to talk, of course, we just had the Super Bowl, we know the Rams are the champions, and I was reading a little about you, man, and <laughs> look at that, you have your own trophy, you have some Super Bowl rings, some bling too. Uh, let's check it all out. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but you won Last three. team to go back to back right there. Back to Rams back. got a chance to do it. Uh, but you won <laughs> three, where's your third ring? Did you lose it? <laughs> Uh, no, fortunately I didn't. <clears throat> I grew up an LA Rams fan and yeah. went to games with my dad for years and years and years. And, and that's kind of what helped just deliver this passion to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately we were able to beat them in 2001 <laughs> uh, on a game winning field goal. And uh, my first act of kindness was to kind of give that ring to my dad. And so he owns that one, wears it everywhere with pride, 7-Eleven oh. to the pool, fishing <laughs> trips. He doesn't take it off that guy. I mean, um, so I have to borrow it back when I need all three. I love that. I mean, yeah, he definitely is proud of his son and your accomplishments. Uh, here in San Diego, we all are proud of all you've done because now you're here spreading kindness. Uh, so tell us, how did you get involved with Kind Humans and what are you guys up to now? Well, uh, Kind Humans was founded by Justin Wilkenfeld and his wife, Susie. Um, Justin and I, he was one of the guys who helped, uh, well, hired me at GoPro coming out of the um, out of the NFL. And so I was able to latch on with this rocket ship of a brand and learn about creating content and community and, and production and, and, uh, and, you know, structuring deals with influencers, athletes. Um, and so really, really close to him. And then, and then he decided to kind of uh, leave that business and start this, this, um, you know, marketplace for good uh, with his wife, Susie and, and, you know, offer products that are good for you. Um, good for the earth. Uh, good for everything. And, and the stories behind them, the people who make them, the ingredients that are that are really changing the way right. um, you know uh, commerce is is um, is consumed uh, really struck a chord with me and had it was something that I was passionate about and just in my DNA I love giving back I've I've had my own charity I've I've gone to all, all the events um, growing up we had foster kids and adopted a baby girl and took in exchange students and so it's just something in my DNA that I, I gravitated to and. The message is great. I drive a huge van that says kindness always wins on the side and I take my kids to school and and now it's it's kind of uh, it, it's in their lives and, and people recognize them for that. So it's just such a fun Whoa. thing to be involved in. Oh, this is so beautiful. And we are watching um, some video right now of people giving bags, uh, gifts, surprising people with lovely things to make them smile, uh, flowers, things like that. Oh, there, there's video of you now with your big van. Kindness, pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> so on this holiday, this random acts of kindness day, what are some ideas for our viewers at home who are watching right now? What can we do? What do you think we should all be doing today? Day. You know, I I feel like a lot of times I have too much stuff. And so I like to put these little goodie bags together and find people who might not have that much stuff. They look like they're going through tough times and make them, you know, little goodie bags. I got partners or, or things that I've acquired along the way, whether it's kind humans gear or it's, you know, liquid death water or it's uh, sunscreen or it's, you know, things of that nature. Um, you know, my kids and I like to put these little goodie bags together and, and cruise around and um, and give them to people who look like they might be, uh, you know, having a rough go. And so um, that really makes me and us feel good. And it instills, you know, my these these acts of kindness in my kids and, and it rubs off to them for where they want to do it at school. And 
and open the door for the teacher or pick up the extra piece of trash or or just say it, you know, ask someone how they're doing and tell them they look, you know, they like their jeans. Just give them a little compliment. <laughs> and it's, it's something that I think uh, goes a long way these days, especially in the times we're in where, you know, a lot of people's faces are covered and, and, and you, your social abilities were, you know, kind of pulled back for a long time. So getting out there now and actually interacting with people and, and you know, giving them some, some good uplifting, um, whether it's advice or a little act yeah. of kindness, is so huge. That's amazing. I do want to ask you too, because in the video we saw quite a few kids with you. How many kids do you have? <laughs> I have four kids four. under nine. Okay, um, under nine. So it's full, <laughs> it's full team Paxton over here, and then we have right. a bunch of kids in the neighborhood, and they've been handing out stickers to everyone's house and hats, and Aww. you know, Melon and us did a collab earlier in the year, and Melon are some of the greatest hats in the world. Yeah. And we were able to give some to the kids in their school, to their football teams, to their dance teams, um, and just a smile on their face. And the parents are just coming up to us on a daily, taking pictures next mm -hmm. to the van. And so having a lot of kids is, you know, it's tough, but but um, but it's fun because they, they all love each other and they're all kind of <laughs> learning these, these things together. That's awesome. When they have a dad like you, parents like you, I'm sure, you know, they're spreading it. The kindness is contagious. Also, can you zoom in with that hat? What's it say right there? <laughs> kindness always there wins you go. Yes, that's uh does. you know we've been trying to come up with these these um you know these messages of kindness that we can put everywhere because there's so many of them you know used to be passed it on now it's always wins kindness is contagious practice kindness and so there's so many ways that you know you can you can be kind you don't have to be soft it's not it's not really a um you know a something that says you're not tough right. it's it's really just taking it upon yourself to to lay it out there and and uh pick someone else up in need so yeah, yeah. practice it it always wins now when it comes from the uh, mouth of a tough guy football player right you know people know you know you're not a softy <laughs> and not that that's a bad thing either <laughs> i'm a little soft you know i gotta probably hit the gym a little bit more but you know i'm soft around the edges i got a soft heart but but don't mess with me. <laughs> We've all gone through a rough time the past couple of years. I don't blame <laughs> you. <me. laughs> uh, also, for today, of course, for Kind Humans, are you? what are you guys going to be up to? I mean, as far as going out around the community, will we see the van going around? Yeah, the van will be out and about. Um, you know, again, uh, I'm, I'm taking my kids to all their practices yeah. and their events. And so throughout this process, we run into a ton of families. And, and we got something up our sleeves, um, you know, whether it's uh, – do something for them or give them something um, or just say something to them. And so fortunately we have about three separate practices and, and, <laughs> and, uh, you know, dance, uh, things. So, um, you there's no like shortage Eric of us Connor. being around other people you who, and who uh, you know, we can pass it on to. <laughs> Dads yeah, if you're like busy dads, coaches for dads, uh, you know, definitely are, have a big uh, calendar. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and for sharing your kindness with us. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs>